Hello friends. So, if you don't get your squiggly so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an advanced 3D logo. I'm just going to say advanced because I already did like more simple 3D logo. So the first thing you want to do is make a new project and they're going to click new composition and then you're going to have these as your um, setting. So you're going to press OK. The next thing you want to do is go to Google. Now this picture can be anything. Um, I'm going to do um, like Billie Eilish's logo. So yeah. And they're going to put PNG at the end. So then it's like the background is clear. And then you're going to import your picture. So and then we're going to put it into our timeline. Since the logo is black, it's of course going to like disappear with the background. So what we're going to do is go into effects and presets. We're going to search fill. Then we're going to fill it with that fun fact okay now what we're gonna do is shorten this up so i'm gonna go around two seconds so what we're gonna do is right click the box right here and then we're gonna press new then we're gonna press solid and then we're gonna press okay we're gonna go towards the end then we're gonna chop this off so Control shift d and then we're gonna delete that part it's gonna like disappear but then we're gonna add element onto it so that's what you need for this logo element 3d they're gonna add it onto there Okay, so then once you add element onto it, the um, background kind of comes back. So yeah, the next thing you want to do is make text. I kind of did this out of order, but you could do this in any order for real. We're going to right click the box, press new, and then you're going to do text. And then we're going to put our text. So I think I'm going to do this font nice and simple. But once you have your text ready, you're going to click the picture of the PNG you did and then you're going to press layer and you're going to press auto trace and what this does it's going to be for the 3d part so press ok and now we have our auto trace and then we really don't need this layer anymore so you can just press this eyeball tool to make it go away then we're going to move this black solid to the top after you do this press custom layers you're going to press custom text and mask and then you're going to do path 1 to the text and then you're going to do path 2 to the auto trace or vice versa but we're going to do this way you're going to press scene setup and of course nothing is going to be right here but once you press extrude the text is going to pop up so yeah and after that you're going to press presets you're going to go to physical and then we're going to do chrome i guess we're going to press extrude again the other thing is not going to pop up so you're going to press custom path or we're going to change it to custom path 2 and then the png should pop up we're gonna add chrome to this too if your picture has like a texture i guess press this arrow right here and then you're gonna go into the like thing press diffuse right here and then you're gonna select the picture again so i'm gonna change this one to red i think go into our text we're gonna press chrome then we're gonna do reflectivity and we're gonna change it to red and then the billy thing is gonna be red i'm gonna change my text like the way it looks so I'm gonna go to bevels and I'm gonna change it to whatever, whatever you want, but. Make sure you add a new group. So right click right here, press new group folder or press this plus button right here and then add a new group folder. But make sure you put two because this one, this one is already one. I'm gonna put the Billy thing into this group folder right here. And then they're gonna separate so we're all done with that part so we're gonna press ok this is gonna pop up but we're just gonna click the eyeball thing so then it disappears and then this is gonna pop up so once we do that go to world transform we're gonna scale this up some yep yep go to your text which is group layer 2 for me wait something's wrong okay so for some reason I had two element 3ds but I don't know what happened there Boy, if you don't get your squiggly- I'm gonna try this again. So we're gonna go to group layer 2, which is where our text is. Then we're gonna change the particle up, and we're gonna put that to 0. And that's for the text. So as you can see, we can put it up and down. Let's go to group 1. Then we're gonna go to particle look. Then we're gonna change particle size to 0 for the first keyframe. And then make sure you're in the beginning, and then you're gonna make a keyframe. And then we're gonna go like towards, like right here, and we're gonna change it back to 10 or however much you want once you play it back it zooms in but it's stiff so we're gonna add graphs double click this part and then you're gonna select all your keyframes right click one of them keyframe assistant easy ease then press the graph button and then since this is a speed graph we're gonna change it to value graph so like this should be fixed 
but we're gonna add motion blur because it's giving cap cut so click this or if it's too fast for you which I think it looks horrible right now we're gonna do like this right here this all right so once we have that we're gonna go back to our group layer 2 which is where our text is and then we're gonna scale that in so now what we're gonna do once we play this back we have our text pop up Help. It's kind of stiff. Once we add the shakes, it's going to look better. We should get some particles in here. Let's do that. Go to our group layer 3 now. Particle look. And we're going to change the scale some. Multi object. Enable multi. Go to scatter multi. And then we can scatter this out. Scatter multi. We're going to make a keyframe right there. And we're going to go towards the end. Scatter that out. I meant. <laughs> yeah we're gonna have this kind of like rotate so we're gonna go to world rotation y rotation make a keyframe then we're gonna go like a few keyframes forward and make sure you go past this point because we're gonna do a mid graph for the rotation so i'm gonna kind of just do one rotation we're gonna change this first thing right here to one i just noticed that this is kind of like off like the anchor point is off so what we have to do is go to scene setup and now we have to kind of move these forward some i'm gonna move this forward and then i'm gonna move this forward and then once you go back it should be kind of more fixed okay so what we're gonna do is double click the keyframe thing right here where like it kind of burst out we're gonna do a mid graph right there so go to speed graph we're gonna move these keyframes like more apart then we're gonna go to our graph editor and then we're gonna do a graph kind of like this so then it's you know a mid graph boy if you don't get your squiggly all right so once you have that all right now we're gonna go back to our world transform get out this graph editor and then what we're gonna do is create a new null layer so we can like control everything I'm gonna go towards the end and cut this off right here so control shift D and then delete and then what we're gonna do is kind of zoom this back out we're gonna press S on our keyboard on the null layer press the stopwatch and then we're gonna press R on our keyboard for rotation and then we're gonna go towards the end and then we're gonna do the rotation to 150 I guess it really doesn't matter whatever you prefer press s and then we're going to go towards the end and then we're going to change this keyframe to zero now what we're going to do is press u on our keyboard and then it's going to bring up all the keyframes But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm giving away this project file in my pay hip, which is in the description below. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. But anyways, yeah. Um, thank you guys. Love you. And peace.